Sam Newman, Tanya Lacey and Shane Bourne. Bring yeah. Them out. All right, this is Private Parts, where we have uh, three objects and we ask someone to come out from our audience and we have selected the lovely Eleanor. Mm -hmm. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Come on in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eleanor, what are you... Uh, you're a student, obviously. You're so young. No, no, I'm actually a teacher. Ah, oh, I can tell of a resident voice mm -hmm. there. You're a teacher, are you? Yes, I am. Which, uh, what age do you teach? Secondary. Secondary? Mm -hmm. From year 8 to year 12. What subjects? Science, maths, and chemistry. Oh, well, you'll do well at this. Uh, I <laughs> this hope time. so. Yeah, first object we have is this. It's uh, obviously a wig. Uh, we are going to hand these to each of our. You've not played this before, let me explain. No. Everyone's going to say that this dead. is theirs, and you have to decide <laughs> who is telling. Dead. Who is. <laughs> dead. Is that, is, that, is that you? There's this uncontrollable urge for the, <laughs> for the thing to go over there. Hello, son, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, now. <laughs> I don't think that's very kind. It's not very kind, is it? Uh, so I'm going to hand that each of these people will be saying that this it belongs to them for some very important personal reason, and you have to guess which one is telling the truth. Uh, over to you, Shane. Wow. Um, well, Daryl, in fact, if you recall, I did fill in for Molly Meldrum during the um, Hey Hey Cinderella Panto yes. during Christmas and had to wear the, uh, the fairy godmother. Yes outfit and had to change the lyrics actually because Molly was away. I think it was, um, <laughs> yes I'm a fairy but I'm really not a raver, it's just that Molly's in LA doing someone else a favour. <laughs> right. And so Molly wore that very same frock yes. to um, Elton's, Elton's, yeah, Elton's 50th. Yeah. Elton's 50th. And that's your wig, is it? That's well your... no, this is, a, apparently it was Elton's and he didn't, he didn't want it anymore. And um, so he, hey, um, yeah. you know, that's it. And <laughs> Molly uh, is saying thanks for <laughs> For, um, filling in for you. <laughs> filling in for And me. he gave you the wig. He gave me this. I yeah. thought we'd never get to the end of the oh, story. No, the end of the day. <laughs> Tanya. There you go. Uh, you are such a liar. You, sorry, do you have any questions of uh, no, no, Shane? No, that's fine. You, you accept that? Yep, that's okay. fine. Thank right. you. Good. Well, actually, this is my wig because many people may not know this, but um, before I worked in television, I was a go go dancer. And I used to dance in nightclubs and stuff around yeah. Melbourne and things. Oh. And so I would do the big. <laughs> And this was the wig I wore. Yay, that's very good. <laughs> closed a few clubs down. Didn't that's it? a very <laughs> colourful story. That's a colourful story. No, don't say go go dancer for you, Sam. It's, no, uh, this no. brings back great memories for me. I went, in fact, I think I'd be the only one that was around when they were here. I went and saw the Beatles in 1964 at the was called the West Melbourne Stadium in those days, not even Festival Hall. And uh, I think about eight of us came up in two cars from Geelong and we thought we'd go dressed appropriately uh, for the concert and it uh, was the only, well, not the only concert I saw, but of course I only went once. And uh, we wore, though, that, that is my wig that I bought in 1964 for the Beatles concert. It's sort of like it's grown a little but since that time. Was at home, Sam actually found it on his bedside table this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so put it on, this is what, now that's what you look like. Look, look, yeah. what Sam looked like. Uh, so there you go, you've got three uh, quite, you know, plausible stories there. Sure. And no questions for Sam or Tanya? Um, no. Um... I think I'll go for um, Sam, I think. Do you want to go for Sam? He, that's the wig he wore to when he saw the Beatles in 64 when they were out here. first. All right. <laughs> OK, let's, let's, hit the, let's hit the temp roll. Would the, would the real owner of the wig... Just throw that back over here. Would it please be upstanding? Yes! It was! It was given to Shane by Molly because he's filled in for him and there's a man who could use a wig there in the audience. Uh, it was given to you by Molly, so do you what? You've, you've, yeah, you've, look, you've missed out on that one, but we have another object. We're going to race through the second object, which is actually, this is a bit more substantial, this object. I don't know whether any of them would want to wind up to a... OK, over to you, Shane. This is yours, is it? Yes, uh, well, it was my grandfather's, actually. And which um, hospital was he in? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, mm, he's, um, actually, when he was given this wig, he used to tell the story that it was, you know, had a little genie in it, if you gave it a bit of a rub. And genie popped out and said, uh, one wish, and uh, Grandpa said, I wish my willy could touch the ground, and poof, his legs disappeared. <laughs> 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 but, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that was given to him by, by a friend many, many years ago uh, <laughs> who, who loved old gags. <laughs> so it was given to you just to clear that, uh, the well, real I, story up. It is was, it? yeah, it was my grandfather. It's it, given to, it was born okay. in Singapore and given to Granddad. So that's very, it's a very important deal then. Hi, Granddad. I'd just like to say hi to Granddad. He's been uh, dead for four years, but here you go. Okay. Tanya. Well, actually, <laughs> this vase is mine and it was given to me by a friend of mine who has since moved to New York and I don't see him, in, him anymore and um, it's kind of really precious to me because I don't see him and I, I just look at this and I remember how much oh. I miss him. And um, oh. it's kind of really precious to me and it's something I'd really hate to lose. Yeah, it's the same shape too. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Don't uh -huh. tell me, you took this to the Beatles concert with you. No, and... no, no. I know I doubted you the first time, but uh, this is the only thing. This I salvaged this when my first marriage uh, bit the dust, and uh, it was given to me as a wedding present, and I thought it was given to me by a very close friend, and I thought that's the only real thing I want. Uh, I lost most of everything else, but this and I retained. How long to that? Given to you by a real friend. Now, that's... that's... Yeah. Whoa, gee, that, um... Which of these three people, um, Eleanor, which do you th Very difficult. Very difficult. Do you think it's really that... Yeah. I mean, it's... Oh! 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 Oh, get a bit of uh, super glue, you'll be all right, wouldn't you? Just, <laughs> just forget Hang it, on. guys. Just forget it. Reminds me of his second wife. <laughs> well, thank you. Now, look, um, I don't it's know whether you were studying who was reacting <laughs> better on this occasion to their object. <laughs> uh, <laughs> obvious. Oh, I see. Sam's That's upset. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Sam's upset. Sam's so, upset. Eleanor, it's, uh, it's up to you. Which, who do you think is... Well, uh, I think that Sam reacted more, uh, more so, so I'll go with him again. You're going to go with Sam <laughs> again? <laughs> what the... She wants you, Sam. ...real owner... <laughs> ...would the real owner of the urn please be upstanding? Going, Darren. Um, it's actually mine Shane as well. I know you. It right. is Shane's again. We've done. We've got two. Oh. Eleanor, look, we'll give you one more chance. One more chance. And we did have a great prize, but you know, I'm afraid you keep sticking with Sam. Can we bring worry. in the third item, please? Bring in the third item. Third item. Oh. What's the uh, what's it, boys? What's it? What's the uh, what's Oh, oh, oh. Right. Uh, okay, that's. Do you a... mind that vase is granddad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the third item. All right, it's a two seater couch. Um, Shane. Sorry, I've gone mad. Is this, is this your couch? Yes, it is, Daryl. Why? <laughs> Not telling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is because, um, as you can see, because I, I, I lay down on it this way, and yeah. if we get in close, if we can get in close here, Wayne, there's. Because uh, I sleep like this. And I'm a bit oral. I was taken off the breast at about two months, and I dribble, I dribble a bit. <laughs> can you get in close here and see that? that... Oh, you've got a stain. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's a little stain yeah. on there. Can you get in the top here, mate? Fantastic. Wait to the office. Camera one. Right, Camera move in. That's it. Yep. See those little stains. Now, now you're in your own light, so you can't oh, see. Oh, the stain. There it is. There's there a stain. Right. Bit of dribble, and also just to confirm, just to confirm, what's Granddad's fault? <laughs> Just to confirm it, I always keep this here. That's uh, couch potato, Daz. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Thanks, Okay, well, there it was. Now, that's the drip. You've got the drip. Any questions? No, no, you? that's no? fine. Okay, Tanya. Well, actually, it's my couch. And my mother bought me this couch. And I'll prove that it's mine because I, I treat it as if it were mine. Hi. And you can see that I look very comfortable on it. Yeah. It suits me. Yeah, you do that. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'd know, Sam. You'd know. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just a, just a comfy couch that I like sort of sitting on. Okay. And I can prove it's mine because there should be some money. Oh, my remote! Oh, oh I've been looking for that for ages. Could you change the channel, please, send it yeah. so the, No, no, no. We want to stay on. Oh, do we? Yeah, no, it's too early to go off here. Hello, yeah. this is SBS. Yes. How you going, everybody? Oh. <laughs> OK, you have... It's, it's Tanya's couch. Uh, she feels comfortable on it. Shane says it's his couch. Yes. Sam, is this your couch? Well, you're in the unenviable position. Uh, 
All you've done is prove me to be a great liar, but of course, uh, if you've been wrong two times, you've got to be right this time. This is my couch. I bought this. This is when we were trying... Now, John Blackman would know this. Yes. I bought this ten years ago when we were trying to save Fitzroy Football Club at an auction. <laughs> I bought it at the Fitzroy Town Hall, and I bid for that. Bert Newton was actually the auctioneer, and I haven't got any props, That's right. uh, potatoes or remotes. He went home with that it is, strapped on his back. That is the couch I bought at the he Fitzroy kept it, Football yeah, Club. Yeah. Daryl, he so, kept it in the back of his car for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eleanor, it's up to you. Okay, We're... I don't think I'll go with Sam this time. I'm probably wrong, but I'll go with Tanya. You're going with Tanya in yes. the middle? Yes. What do you think, audience? Good choice? <laughs> okay, we hear the timpani. Would the real owner of the two-seater couch please be upstanding? Yeah. Go for it, Sam. I oh, it's not. Ah, yeah. It is Tanya! Yeah. Eleanor!